Hi everyone, it's Miss Kelty for my final weekly update of the school year. First, we had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time with our play days on Tuesday and Thursday this week. Um, it was really the first day for me that felt normal. Um, although Tuesday was really hot, we didn't do as much outside. We did our tie-dyeing outside and instead of a bubble dance party, we had um, just a bubble picnic and popsicle picnic. Um, it was just so great to be outside without masks, students playing, parents there volunteering. Thank you so much for being there. It was so great. Um, the newsletter, which is attached to this email that um, the update came in, has lots of pictures that I've taken from the classes or from my role um, of the fun day, the play day, just so you could see them. Thank you to the PCC for your support. Um, they purchased the popsicles, the tie-dye, they also, you know, vol we needed volunteers to help us do tie-dye. I still haven't gotten all the ink out of my hands, but it was so much fun. Students will be coming home in their shirts um, on Tuesday and Thursday, the last days of school here for our ECDC kiddos. So um, your shirt won't go home with them this week. We'll just throw them on over what they're wearing so that we can all have our tie-dye on for the last day of school. Also, if you check in the newsletter, there's information on a photo booth. A couple years ago, one of our past presidents made an awesome ECDC photo booth that we would have out and we are gonna have it available for families to take a picture um, before or after school. So it'll be kind of out on the grass by the uh, playground. And so plan accordingly, allow a few extra minutes and come and take some pictures and it'll be a fun little memory. Remember the rock garden? We ask you to make a special rock and put it in our garden. I can see some people have been doing that. I love to check and see the new ones and the kids do too. So you can do that at any time. Uh, do one as a family or by yourself. Have your, I mean, have your child do it by themselves and then just drop it off and you can put it in the garden and it'll be there as a little memory. Um, also in the newsletter, there's information on Flag Day, which is the 14th. Um, so if you're looking to do some um, something fun or to just teach your child, there's a little video and information. Also Juneteenth. Juneteenth is a holiday that um, became a state holiday in August of 2020. So it's new to many of us to be sharing information about it, but it's really a um, celebration of the Emancipation Proclamation and when it finally reached Texas, because back then information wasn't shared as readily as it is now through social media and telephones. So it took a long time for the, the enslaved people in Texas to know that they were actually free. So um, there's a nice video there if you wanna start talking to your children about it. Again, it's something that in Massachusetts and many other states, it is now a legal holiday. So learn about Juneteenth. Um, let's see, oh, I mentioned before we're doing a thousand books before kindergarten project. I'm excited to say that starting this week, we'll be collecting gently used um, or new preschool books. So we're looking for picture books, books that young children can read. Um, and again, they're new or gently used. We're gonna have a bin here that you can drop them off in. Um, we're also gonna be putting bins in all the elementary schools and at the town hall. So I am excited about that project and we're just kind of getting it underway. If you're interested in being part of that, uh, parent volunteers will be needed to help sort books and figure out how we're going to get our book bags together. So again, if you're interested, let me know. Um, trying to see other things. Uh, notices for ESY. We've gotten some questions about um, teacher assignments for ESY. 
our ESY teachers will be writing a welcome letter and those letters will come home to you in the mail. They will be mailed from here no later than June 22nd. Um, if your child is getting speech services, you will be contacted by um, Lisa Ladd, who is doing the speech services and has here for, I think, eight years, as long as I've been here at any rate. Um, she's wonderful and she'll be contacting you to schedule those walk-in services or if your child's coming for a program, they'll just be done as part of their day. So you wouldn't necessarily hear from her. I'm looking at my list and I think I've pretty much got it all. So please take a time to look through the newsletter. I have sprinkled pictures throughout of our wonderful play days. So you can take a peek. Um, and again, if you have questions, comments on the year, I'd love your feedback. Thank you all for um, going on this ride with us. It was an adventure um, and we made it. And I'm really proud of my team and I'm proud of all of you. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Bye.